हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश ग्रामर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू टुडे वी विल लर्न इन मॉड्यूल नाइन समथिंग न्यू नाउ वी विल सी मॉड्यूल नाइन वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सीनानिम्स सीनानिम्स आर द मीनिंग्स ऑफ अ वर्ड Now we will see what are synonyms. Synonyms are words that have same meaning. Means the word having same meaning in different words are called as synonyms. So what are synonyms? Words having same meaning but the words are different is called as synonyms. so what are synonyms words having the same meaning you can say happy or glad so the meaning of the word is same hence happy or glad is the word used to show the excitement that is called as synonyms so synonyms means words having same or similar meaning are called synonyms similar same or alike meaning are called synonyms now we will see some examples of synonym see here simple means easy short means close mad means angry loud noisy large big begin start enjoy like finish end giggle laugh difficult hard these are some of the examples of synonyms some more examples of synonyms are pretty lovely quick fast large enormous scared frightened tired sleepy sick ill woman lady so these are some of the other examples of synonyms which shows the meaning of the word to get us easily now we will see what are adverbs adverbs tell us when where why and how an action happens adverb tells us about the action that takes place or time or the reason when the action happens adverb describe a verb or an adjective now we will see how adverbs are formed adverbs are formed by replacing some adjective that ends by y or ily that means adverbs are formed by changing the n word of adjectives for example slow we will add ly to the adjective slow we will get slowly beautiful we will get beautifully then bad b a d bad we will add ly and we will get badly then sometimes the adjectives have y at the end so we will replace y and we will add ily to make it adverbs such as h a double p y happy it will make h a double p i l y happily why because we have replaced y with i l y same way 
noisy we will add i l y to noisy and we will get noisily by replacing y then easy easily so we add y or i l y by replacing the n word of adjective to make it adverb now we will see some words that changes while forming adverbs for example simple the last two words le are replaced by ly and it become simply now we will see polite we will see that the e at the end is not removed but ly is added to make it politely then original now here al is there but ly is added and to the word original one more ly is added to make it originally then tragic here we add ally a double l y to make it tragically in some cases adjective remain same when they become adverb such as we can see the word enough as the word deep changes to deeply but enough does not changes so we can see that in some cases the adjectives and adverbs are same here is one more example of never and often these words never change even though they are adverbs now we will see adverbs of manner there are many types of adverbs an adverb that shows the way or manner in which an action is done is called an adverb of manner adverb of manner answers the question how the action has taken place we will see with some example ram reads carefully sita walks slowly sam sleeps quietly or rama sings beautifully in this we can see the actions are done in a proper way or manner so here the manner shows the adverb and how the work is done or how the action takes place if we are taking example of sita walk slowly this shows that the manner of sita how she walks or rama sings beautifully so here it shows that the manner how rama sing so in this way we can see that the way or manner in which an action is done is called as adverb an adverb of manner now we will take some more examples of adverb of manner elegantly happily that shows the manner in which the action takes place gently hungrily lazily loudly here we can see the way or manner in which the action takes place now we will see some more examples suddenly hurriedly generously kindly powerfully and gladly these are the manner in which the action is done 
angrily shows the anger same way bravely busily cautiously courageously and greedily these are the way or manner in which an action is done here are some more examples of adverb carefully cruelly suddenly happily are some more examples of adverbs of manner now we will see how adjective change to adverb harsh harshly delicate delicately sudden suddenly bad badly terrible terribly capable capably then incredible incredibly and so on so today we learn some adverbs such as happily carefully very sadly loudly joyfully energetically and nervously now we will see how to make tea a cup of tea is very necessary for everyone in the morning so we will see how to make tea now we will see how to make a cup of tea take a vessel pour some water in it then start the stove on the stove now allow the water to boil wait for some time then add some tea leaves and allow it to boil little longer after some time pour some milk and add sugar then allow it to cook a little longer so that the color of the milk changes and then stir it to see whether the color has changed now take a cup and a strainer now of the gas and hold it the vessel with a tongue then stain the tea in the cup with the help of strainer now your tea is ready to serve so you can serve it with biscuit or directly to someone in this way you can make a cup of tea so you can make a cup of tea which is the beverage and serve it to your parents so what did we learn today synonyms means the words that have the same meaning or similar or alike meaning of the words and adverbs that are formed by adding ly or y to the adjectives and different types of adverbs some of the examples of adverbs such as happily carefully loudly quietly carelessly nervously which are added by y or ly and we also learn how to make a cup of tea that is the beverage drink by our elders so we all learn this today in our grammar in module 9 thank you